Let's talk about Rajasthan as well because there are some very, very interesting seats up for grabs in the first phase itself. Overall, 12 seats that go to polls in Rajasthan in phase one. The entire state not being covered in one phase, much like, in fact, many other uh, North Indian states. Let's take a look at the VIP seats to watch out for. There are two in particular I want to talk about first is Bikaner, where Arjun Ram Meghwal, and this was previously considered to be a Congress bastion since 1999, the Congress has, uh, the BJP has held on to Bikaner. So you've got Arjun Ram Meghwal now looking for a record fourth term as MP from Bikaner. He's up against Govind Ram Meghwal and Ketaram. This is similar to what we saw in 2019. So it will be interesting to see whether Meghwal can actually win Bikaner for a fourth term. Churu is another very, very interesting seat because here you have a veteran politician against a star Paralympian, Devendra Jajharia, who's been given the ticket by the BJP. Rahul Kaswan, in fact, was with the BJP, switched over to the Congress. So that will be also a very interesting fight to see because he's the incumbent MP, was denied a ticket so that Jajharia can be given the ticket from Churu. Will that work out to the BJP's favor or not? So these are seats that will be very interesting. Alwar and Nagar also where you have Hanuman Beriwal of the RLP in uh, Alwar, you have Bhupendra Yadav of the BJP. I want to bring in Dev Ankur on this broadcast as well. Dev, good evening. Uh, several seats uh, that go to polls in phase one in Rajasthan. Which are the seats that you believe will be very, very closely watched? Good evening, uh, uh, Akshita. Absolutely, uh, the seats that you mentioned will be up for grabs. And, you know, it's been a tight contest in Churu. Rahul Kaswa is the Congress candidate and he's a switchover uh, uh, politician from the BJP. He was denied a ticket uh, from Churu by the BJP and he joined the Congress. He's up against a Paralympian, a medal winner uh, at that. And recently, Prime Minister Narendra Modi had held a rally in Churu and he mentioned that Narendra Aya hai Devendra ke liye vote maangne ke liye. So the BJP is making uh, you know, a strong pitch for Devendra uh, Jhajadiya from Churu. That is one interesting seat. The other seat is of Nagaur, from where Jyoti Mirda is up against uh, Hanuman Beniwal of the RLP. The RLP has entered into an alliance with the Congress for the Nagaur seat. This seat had, had been won, interestingly, uh, Akshita, by Hanuman Beniwal in 2019 when he was in alliance with the BJP. But this time round, he's on the other side of the fence. He's with the Congress. And Jyoti Mirda, who at that time was with the Congress, is in 2024 with the BJP. That is another interesting seat. Uh, the third seat, which you mentioned about Bikaner, is also very interesting. Uh, the fourth seat that I want to talk about is that of Jaipur City. From here, okay. former Cabinet Minister Pratap Singh Khachriyawas is up against, uh, uh, you know, a relatively new politician, that is Manju Sharma of the BJP. But clearly, it's the name of the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, uh, who is the trump card for the BJP, who is the lead politician for the party, and he is the face of the party in Jaipur City. But this is also one interesting contest that the okay, people so can be Okay, so those are some seats for. that they have referred to. What I find interesting in Rajasthan is seems to be new versus old faces, several stories of turncoats as well, and will that really play out? How will that play out for respective political parties? Thanks, Dev, for joining us with all of those details.